Hey guys, so I thought I'd just do a video on uh, alternative history and history that's been hidden because I'm really interested now and I'm getting into it. So basically, what it is is there was Tataria and the Tatarian people, and the Tatarian people and the Tataria itself is not taught in any university or anywhere. It's not very talked about much in history books at all. Not many people talk about it, and I find it quite interesting to why it's not talked about, and there's obviously a lot of proof that they existed as little as two to three hundred years ago. So uh, here we have Lincoln Cathedral. Now this was supposedly built in the nearly a thousand years ago, right? The complexity of the cathedral would be impossible in today's standards on how they build buildings. It amazes me how we're told that the technology was not very advanced there at all back, you know, eight, nine hundred years ago. And it makes you wonder how they built it so complex, so much detail almost like it would be impossible to build today and there's a few theories around this the fact that it actually wasn't anything to do with religion it could have been an old power station generating whatever energy they had back then uh, you know throughout time if there ever was a great reset um, it could have been a power station that generates electricity uh, and they could have rebuilt it around whatever it was it could have been a few different buildings it could have been a healing centre at a time I mean the structure is enormous and it's one of the only existing structures in the whole of Lincoln and there's many cathedrals around the world like this the big, big structures that dwarf the buildings around it and there's not many buildings around it that are as old as it. So it makes you think, was there an existing city there before? And, you know, we've got to think about this as well. Uh, the Great Reset and the Great Reboot, as Tom Hanks called it in one of his fucking videos. Um, you know, do they, reset the his do they reset history every few hundred years? Uh, wipe it out altogether? Makes you wonder. There's a lot of explanation behind this. But it's very interesting indeed. So these are the Tatarian giants. The Tatarian people. Are a lot bigger than the average human being. Uh, there's a theory that these existed and were wiped out and killed. And never taught about in history. Wiped out of history. Everything. So they were never heard of again. Until obviously there is a little bit of evidence. That they're there. But there's no evidence in mainstream history. That talks about Tatarian giants. And it makes you wonder. If it was a depopulation agenda. Back in the past. Uh, you know. That's another thing. Uh, advanced civilizations like our own, like we have today, they could have been as advanced as what we are, even more advanced. They could have had technology like we don't even imagine. And what it could have happened is they could have wiped out the population in a, in a reset. So, and there's also evidence that there was stonemasons, freemasons, secret societies, and all that in in this old, I suppose, old world order before the reset. And what they did was they depopulated the world. And there's a theory going around, this is a theory, that they repopulated the world in the after the Great Reset for the New World Order. Repopulated it with people that lived underground, in underground cities. And they come to the surface after a, a disaster or a, a man-made disaster happens that wiped the Tatarian people out. And there's probably other evidence of other older civilizations and newer civilizations as little as a few hundred years ago. One example is the mud floods. Buildings, very advanced buildings underground that have no documented history whatsoever. 
and it makes you wonder if the the powers that be have hidden wiped out a population a few hundred years ago and hidden it and wiped wiped it out of history and everything so there's no evidence got tried to get rid of as much evidence as possible obviously they couldn't get rid of all of it but these buildings here had windows look advanced buildings underground above all this lot that look a little as few hundred years old uh, this is a hill an example of a, a civilization that was here once this is an old rail track supposedly a railroad maybe they had steam trains or some type of transport in an old civil in the in a civilization one of the civilizations before a reset could have happened um you know, see the rail tracks here in a very old photo. And you look at the some of the disasters around it. Here we have it above is a, like a mountain, and they have a secret passage down here that someone took a picture of and was not allowed down into that passage. They were told to go, and when they went went further, uh, they found out that there was no documented. There was evidence that there was a lot of complexity of the wall that was underground. And we have uh, this was from a old mine. We see that it was layers of it. And then when you look at some of the buildings around the world as well, some of them look like they've been blown up or something, or been destroyed. Not that they've just worn away. Some of them have not worn away. Some of them have been destroyed by a past apocalyptic event, whatever it was. Uh, but there is a lot of evidence that Tataria existed. And it makes you wonder, was there an advanced civilization as advanced as ours, as little as 300 years ago? And then they did a great reset. Re depopulated the world, repopulated it from the with the, from the surface. And there's even uh, pictures of orphan trains of children that go missing every year and are taken underground. Uh, the fear is around that they're taken underground and never seen of again. And then when the Great Reset happens and they depopulate the world, they bring the children up to the surface, repopulate them in the cities, and that's how the population begins. Because there's no evidence of uh, population. When you look at the population of the, the history of the world, it doesn't make any sense. So it goes from 1 billion, 2 billion, 4 billion, 7 billion, like really quickly. And it makes you wonder if they, if, if they do that to keep the population low every few hundred years. And it all seems to occur when a mini ice age happens. So yeah, I just thought I would uh, just do a little bit of a a bit of a just a little bit of a description of what I'm looking into now. It's very interesting, but very interesting stuff. And I generally think there was the, the the history has got complete lie what we've been told. We haven't been told the truth. There's a lot of missing puzzles. There's a lot of civilizations like the Tatarians that we, are not talked about. And no one talks about them. Uh, no documented history of all the destroyed buildings you see the underground tunnels loads of underground tunnels advanced too advanced for the technology that this is they supposedly had at the time um and there's also proof of underground cities where people inhabited for some reason in areas where they don't need to be underground so it makes you wonder if there was a some kind of disaster that happened on the overground so yeah very interesting stuff guys all right, thanks, guys, and I'm hoping to probably get more into this because it's really interesting. But also, uh, it is important about the stuff that's going on at the moment, so I'm not going to let this distract me, and it shouldn't distract you either. All right, thank you.